I've made the preservation of American democracy the central issue of my presidency. I believe in free and fair elections and the right to vote fairly and have your vote counted. Well, because it appears that they're they're prosecuting him for political purposes. Yes, they are. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not a political guy, and I'm telling you, they just throw, they just keep fucking throwing things at this they're poor They're throwing guy. things at him also that don't make sense. Like we talked about the Mar-a-Lago thing a bunch of times where they tried to say that he overvalued Mar-a-Lago, and the, the judge said it's worth $18 million. Nobody thinks that. No, Nobody thinks that. There's not a fucking human alive that thinks that place is only worth $18 million. There's something dangerous happening in America. There's an extremist movement that does not share the basic beliefs in our democracy. All of us are being asked right now, what will we do to maintain our democracy? Actually, they did do a, a great job of stopping ISIS. They did a lot of things with the economy that seemed to have been working. I'm not an economist. I'm not the guy to have this conversation with. You know, if you want to like talk about policies and what's effective, it's not effective. I'll tell you what's not effective, what's going on right now. What's going on right now is not good. And you want to continue this, you're out of your fucking mind. You look at the just sheer raw numbers of dollars that we sent to other countries this year that you have to realize that if you wanted the country to be better you would have spent that money here on us and if you spent that money on us and it stays in america you got american jobs to make american cities better history's watching the world is watching the most important our children and grandchildren will hold us responsible the vice president and I have supported voting rights since day one of this administration. You could have done a fucking substantial amount of rebuilding American cities with $170 billion. There's so much they could have done that could have elevated so many lives, and they didn't do anything. We're just talking about it. Buffalo, yeah. Cleveland, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, yeah. all these cities up. And I ask every American to join me in this cause. America is still a place of possibilities where the power resides with we, the people. That's our soul. We are the United States of America. There is nothing beyond our capacity when we act together. You know, you didn't even give people the option of what they wanted to do, and you were wrong. And no one is punished for it. They were wrong. They shouldn't have had us locked down for that long. They were wrong. None of that shit made sense. All that six-foot social distancing, Fauci now admits it's all bullshit. They just came up with that number. People just started saying that number. Remember those stupid stickers on the ground at the bank? You had a sticker. You weren't allowed to like stand here, and then the, the other person has to stay six feet in front of you, and you stand there. You're not allowed to get close. It's all nonsense. It was all nonsense. And they scared the fuck out of people, and they kept businesses closed. And they, they closed restaurants in Los Angeles. They closed outdoor dining just because of the optics of it because COVID started to surge. There was no evidence at all that it was causing outdoor transmission, and they closed those fucking things down. They shouldn't be allowed to have that kind of power over whether or not you can make a living and the choices that you make, because they are just human beings too. And not only are they often uninformed, they're often misinformed, they're often absolutely victims of some sort of corporate propaganda that they've been used as a mouthpiece to promote, and they're affecting these people that have worked their whole lives for 20, 30 years. And it's such a selfish, shitty, fucked up way to run a city, and a selfish, shitty, fucked up way to run a country. And you didn't listen to all the experts, and you didn't take into consideration people's health, <clears throat> mental health from losing their jobs, how many people would have been fine, how many people need this fucking medicine that you're trying to push on, and how many don't, and who's making the money off of it. The whole thing was insane, and it was right in front of your face, because we live in 2024, and the fucking internet is everywhere. You can't run these giant scams like this, where you're just fucking over the whole country without everybody just being able to piece it together at the end of the scam and go, well, now we know how they do it. Look at they all were working in cahoots together. They were literally paying media companies to shame people that were anti-vaccine. The government was involved in censoring social media posts. Wild shit, Joey. Wild shit. So to, for people to go through all that and lose their business and be on the other side, and then Trump comes along and he's like, that's enough. You can't just label all those people as white supremacists. You can't label all those fucking people as hateful bigots. Because that's not what it is.
Now, something dangerous happened in America. There's an extremist movement who does not share the basic beliefs of our democracy. All of us are being asked right now, what will we do to maintain our democracy? They don't want any more of this. They're tired of this nonsense that you're shoving down people's faces. They're tired of it. So that doesn't mean that they're evil. And this narrative is stupid. This narrative that, that everyone on the other side that disagrees with you doesn't see the, the like, fundamental problems the way things are being run right now. There's something dangerous happening in America. There's an extremist movement who does not share the basic beliefs in our democracy. All of us are being asked right now, what will we do to maintain our democracy? Everyone is hateful. Everyone supports a dictator. You guys are out of your fucking minds.